What's the oldest? Me. Oh. <laughs> no, um, probably a costume that Judith Anderson wore. She was from Adelaide and we've got one of her early costumes from about, oh, between 19. 10, 19, 20. Well, my mother was the head usherette when the festival centre first opened and we had Winnie the Pooh on as the first major production and I was asked to work in the merchandise area blowing up balloons with a helium tank. I started working here in 1975 and I was 12 years of age when I started. I guess the most interesting thing about my job is um, is that it allows me to be a geek um, as well as a marketer. So um, the great thing about marketing is it, it's a fun fun job um, to do it online as well as even funner for me. Um, I love the ability to run a campaign, be able to see how effective it is and then see the end result. And um, that's, that's really what gets me going at the end of the day and what makes me come into work every day. Every day we say, aren't we lucky to be living here, working here? I'm a big ticketing fan. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a big festival fan and music, um, is probably more my thing but yes I do very much like the theatre and musical theatre and so on. Sometimes I'm very lucky and I do receive free tickets, yes. The significant things have happened among the staff, we've had a lot of fun. In the old days, when I say the old days, when I first started here, the usherettes used to um, have parties in the green room for the visiting companies. One of the usherettes, she was really good with her photography so she started taking photos of the company and that's where the photographs that are down in the green room and the dressing room area, that's where they all started of cast and company. And I believe we're the only theatre in Australia who does that, according to visiting companies. They come and they say, oh, you don't get a pictorial record of this anywhere else in Australia. This is great. What was the first thing I saw here? I can't remember because, see, I uh, was up in, I grew up in Broken Hill. I didn't come back to Adelaide until I think it was the mid 70s and by then the festival theatre had opened. I remember one of the things that I saw during a festival, it was a Polish theatre company uh, at the space called Cricko 2, which was amazing. I th don't think there was one actor under 70 or under 60 anyway, and actually they weren't actors. Uh, they were just ordinary people. But the, the director was actually on stage like a conductor, conducting the performance, you know, give me more, do the, you know. It was incredible. I still will remember that. The Mahabharata that we had one of the festivals and that was done out at the Anstey Quarry and that really was an amazing experience, working in the quarry and uh, staying up all night to see the performance and see dawn breaking over the rocks, the sun breaking over the rocks and the quarry and all these people sitting there, not a murmur except the birds. It was just something that you don't repeat often in theatre. Something that's always been very, uh, very touching is at the end of the shout season, which was a very successful season that we had here starring David Campbell. On the very last night, he made his thank you um, speech to the audience and as always I thanked everyone in the cast and crew but he also thanked front of house it's just makes me cry <sighs> uh, baritone fabulous singer did dead man walking and uh, wore this he walked around most of the night in jeans with a bare top with a fabulous body and it had one stage he got down and did one arm push it up while he was singing which I thought was pretty astonishing maybe everyone can do that but I thought it was pretty amazing <laughs> he was gorgeous romances no <laughs> not with the audience anyway <laughs> Well, not for me anyway.